Hello, good morning. I'm discussing some characterization of bacterial nanocellulose. Uh, first of all, cellulose is the one of the most abundant renewable and biodegradable polymers. Uh, cellulose is the most abundant biomass on Earth. It's a linear homopolymer of beta 1 4 linked D glucose units. Nanocellulose, namely cellulose based material with uh, peculiar physicochemical properties, appear as a new option offering a wide range of specific applications quite different from cellulose. Cellulose-based biomaterials have been significantly investigated for biomedical applications uh, due to their excellent physical and biological properties like biocompatibility and low cytotoxicity. Uh, biological properties, uh, nanocellulose have excellent physical and biological properties like biocompatibility and low cytotoxicity. Battery nanocellulose is hydrogel containing a uh, one percentage of nanocellulose. It cannot be ignored by researchers uh, interested in nanocellulose due to its unique properties such as the chemical purity, biocompatibility, inertness, non-toxicity, biofunctionality, and hypoallergenicity good mechanical strength, high absorbency, and the possibility of forming any shape and size. Due to its properties, the study and use of bacterial nanocellulose are focused on biomedicines. Tissue engineering has been associated with the bacterial nanocellulose uh, mostly because of its low cytotoxicity, high porosity, biocompatibility, and non reservability. For soft tissue, implants, and cartilage replacements, the fibrillar networks of bacterial nanocellulose offers high tensile mechanical properties and a hydrogel-like behavior as battery nanocellulose interacts with the surrounding water medium. Different physical modification, that is, modification to change in porosities, crystallinities, and fiber densities and uh, chemical modifications, that is, modification of the chemical structures and uh, functionalities have been investigated to enhance bacterial nanocellulose properties suitable for the application in the tissue <coughs> engineering applications. This is the FTIR of the bacterial nanocellulose analysis and the FTIR analysis, the peak, 1728.57 uh, per cm uh, due to glycosidial stored and uh, 3050 to 3000 is the CS stretching signal of epoxide ring signal. Likewise, uh, 1270 and 906.58 RCM uh, due to uh, COC, carbon oxygen carbon, stretching signal of the epoxide ring, 780 to 465 RCM is the COC, CCO, and CCS deformation and stretching vibrations. Uh, and in the C13 EMR, uh, 
uh, there are the peaks uh, in the C1, C4, and uh, C2, C3, C5, and C6 peaks. The C1 peaks is around uh, 105 in the range, and the C4 peaks at uh, 85 per cm, ppm in the range, 84, 85. And C2, C3, and C5 in the one fix in the range of 70 to 74 in the range. And the C6 fix is the 62, 65 in the range. This is the same uh, analysis. In the same analysis, the mean diameter of uh, Nanocellulose was the 84.21 nanometer. Now this is my reference and thanks for watching.